Hey guys, my name is Felix and I would like to teach my movement practice to you. Um, my background is different forms of martial arts, different forms of fitness, yoga and contemporary dance. And in the last 20 years I gained knowledge in all these areas which eventually made me come up with my own form of training, Schaefer Method. And I would like you to do the same, to, to take from my training what you like, what makes sense to you and from other people's trainings as well and then come up with your own form of training which takes me to my first point we should all treat our training individually so what makes sense to my body does not need to make sense for your body so be smart stay within your personal limitations that all of us have see the videos as suggestions and not as order now what is Schaefer method and how should you practice it our overall theme is combining strength and flexibility to create agility. Now, I basically want you to be able to run through the jungle and fight a lion and wrestle a bear. But first thing first, I need you to take responsibility for your own body. And what do I mean with that? What I mean is that let your inner intelligence guide you more than my voice telling you things or um, your eyes watching me move. Let, always let your inner body and knowledge override everything else. This means less form, more space. Think of it this way. If you run after a rabbit in the forest, you're trying to catch it. Do you think of form, like the physical shape your body makes? Or do you think of space? What's around you? How can you go there? And what do you need to do? Where can you go? I guarantee you, in that moment when you run after the rep, you think of space. So this is our goal. See space and then tell your body to, to go there and then observe how your body does that. That is our goal. But for beginners especially, take it slow. Be patient. Don't get frustrated. This takes a long time for your body to go away from form and go more towards space. No rush. Which takes me to my next point. Be in control. Now, physically, that means that you can stop any movement anytime without falling over. And eventually, if that affects your way of thinking, then congratulations to you, I guess. Find flow. When you feel connected, when you give attention to space, when you're in control, then eventually you will experience flow. Now, flow being or being in flow, I think, is when everything makes sense, when you become free and light and things become more effortless. And this is what I want your body to achieve, to move freely, effortless. Now a couple of practical things. If you practice at home, I highly recommend wearing elbow pads and knee pads or what you can do is you throw out all your furniture in your living room and you put down soft mats like I did. These are all a double layer of soft mats so I can roll around here, which is great. Highly recommended. Now, warming up. Depending whether you live in Bali and it's 30 degrees and you just went for a run or you live in Siberia, it's minus 10 degrees and you just woke up, your body might need warming up. So be responsible for that before you start a session, please. Now, I carefully selected the exercises so that you always get a complete movement practice. So in each session, we do not focus only on movement, only on strength, only on flexibility, only on animal locomotion. We always combine all of it to have a complete experience. Again, you are responsible for your own body. So never put your body into a position that is not ready for. Don't roll over your neck if you've never done it in your life, right? Which, which is really important. You have to take responsibility for this. And this is not a complete beginner's practice. You can adjust it so you don't need to be a movement guru to do my method. No, but if, it, if you've never done sports in your life, maybe prepare your body first. That was our little intro sessions. Um, the videos do not build on each other. You can start with the third one and then do the eighth, no problem. I highly recommend sticking with one video for a week or at least a few days so that your body really gets the movement patterns and, and masters them before you move on and learn something new. And yes, enjoy, move, enjoy, 
whatever you do, have fun. Have fun.